I'm Beck Carra and I'm the Student Librarian Assistant here at JCH. And recently I've been working with uh, the librarian and the archivist on producing an exhibit regarding the history of play and theatre throughout JCH. We've collected a whole bunch of old archive materials and researched a lot into um, previous plays and what, how the influence that has had on JCH. I think the biggest discovery was a set of photographs that um, are from 1898 of the first play that uh, Trinity women were ever involved with. That was a reproduction of Euripides' Alcestis. It was the first Greek tragedy ever performed in Victoria and it was just a gargantuan undertaking. All the cast members were from um, Trinity and Trinity Women's Hostel and there was over a hundred chorus, paid chorus singers in the wings, a full orchestra with music composed by a very famous composer of the time. It was staged at Melbourne Town Hall and had over a thousand um, audience members in attendance including many landed gentry and politicians. It cost them about £450 to produce and they made a loss of £150, which was incredibly unfortunate because they were trying to raise money for a gymnasium and it took them about a year to replenish those funds and raise money, like the eventual proceeds for the gym to be built. For the Trinity Women Hostel, which later became JCH, was set up, basically Warden Leeper had been campaigning very hard to allow women into Trinity to be admitted and to stay as residents. The council wasn't really for this, um, but they came to an agreement that uh, women could be admitted to Tr Trinity so long as um, Dr. Leeper like, sourced all the funds and organised all of the accommodation himself. This was a major struggle for the first few years with. Dr. Leeper paying a lot of the money out of his own pocket and asking a lot of friends to help him out. Eventually the Trinity boys decided to help him out and they put on the first ever Latin play which was Aularia by Plautus um, and that was incredibly successful. They raised a couple hundred pounds which enabled the women's hostel to be open for a few years or at least a year after that and then the major benefactors Lady Janet Clark and a few others donated money after that. This whole exhibit was sparked by a donation of an old costume design book by an alumni to the archives exhibit, um, which was based off the play Hassan done in 1955 between Trinity and JCH. And so that was the largest play ever done since Alcestis and was for all intents and like as far as the records show it was an incredible success. Um, and JCH had a large hand in making all of the costumes. And so that is a really valuable book um, and beautiful to read. We also discovered that we still have all of the play reading books and so play readings used to be held fortnightly in the principal sitting room from about 1920 to um, the end of about the 1950s um, and that was an incredibly popular pastime um, on weekends and a very popular social activity. The other major things that's happening is for the first time this year, JCH has written and produced their own play. Um, and so that'll be hopefully on later this year, if lockdown allows us to. Yeah, I guess another milestone in the history of theatre here.